no conversions on third down. What what do you take away from that? You know, your the game, you really don't need to look at the stats. You know, um, obviously, um, you know, we didn't play great. Obviously, we fell behind early. Um, missed some opportunities to capitalize on some big plays in the game that really kind of devastated, you know, uh, the morale of the team and really as an offense. And, and the thing for us is, you know, responding from adversity early on. Um, you know, you look at it, we've had three, three opening drives that have all ended in fumbles, you know, and we've got to learn how to respond um, in those situations when we face adversity. So, um, you know, there was, you know, statistics at the end of the game really didn't matter. You know, I think we kind of saw it. Um, you know, I felt, uh, you know, I felt the pain for the kids um, when you're able to go in that locker room and look in their eyes and, um, and see, you know, what they're going through and how they feel. Um, you know, it hurt. It hurt. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's one of those feelings that you never want to experience again and, and one that hopefully takes away from it um, and it really shows everyone, you know, the, the importance of everything and every little detail that we, we stress and emphasize. In your opinion, are the fumbles happenstance or is it something mentally weighing on them that they're picking up? You know, we've you know we've devoted so much time. Um, uh, it's uncharacteristic. Uh, it really is. Uh, you know, when you look at um, the time that we devote to ball security, um, you know, there's no. Uh, I wish I had an answer. <laughs> if I had the answer, we probably wouldn't be occurring right now. Um, and, you know, and, and uh, let me say this too. I know each and every one of those young men that have had the ball in their hand, they don't want to put the ball on the ground. Um, and, and so, you know. Um, I don't blame them. I feel I feel for them, but uh, something that we've got to overcome. You know, when the first piece of adversity strikes, we can't you know we can't fold. Um, and it, and it's a little bit of um, it's become a little bit of an issue that we've you know we've put our team in some bad positions. You know, with so many of them being so early, and so um, you know we just got to keep you know we got to keep stressing the importance of the details of ball security. Um, you know, each and every player's got to make it really important on each and every play that. You know that we're protecting the ball and those who have it, and it's not just uh, the ball carrier. It's, it's everybody finishing on blocks. It's you know blocking on the perimeter. Um, it's blocking the secondary players so guys don't get hit um, at the second level. And so, uh, but it's definitely devastating to go through, and uh, we just got to find a way. You know, we can't. We lost the game on Saturday. We can't let it beat us twice. You know, and uh, you know, uh, facing the players in the, in the locker room. And the thing I told them on Monday is we got to be ready to move on. Um, they need leadership more than anything right now, and uh, and that's the thing. I, I stress my importance of my belief in them and our belief in our system. And so um, we got to move forward, and, you know, from this point on, and, and and be ready to focus this week on beating Rutgers, and that's all that matters.